the theory of the Big Bang was uh, really uh, a very big step in the evolution of cosmology and cosmogenesis. Um, you know, before that, it wasn't really clear, um, you know, if the universe was, um, you know, a, a, con a constant state universe or if it all of a sudden bang into existence. Um, and, uh, and I'm afraid that we've taken, um, you know, we've made an inappropriate interpretation um, as a result of some of the data that we've been gathering in cosmology. So what I mean by that is that we can't be sure that the Big Bang happened. Absolutely not. There's not a way that we can certify that it happened. All we can say is that when we look back in time, because, you know, when we look at the stars, we're looking back in time, right? You know that? Because yeah. It, yeah, because it takes so long for the light to arrive to us. So light that left from a few billion um, light years ago, you know, takes a few billion years to get to us, right? So, uh, so if you think about uh, looking back, you know, at a distant object, further and further, um, it, you know, you are looking back at the beginning of time, at the beginning of the universe. And it's, and since the universe is expanding and we have, you know, evidence that it expanded throughout that time, um, we can imagine that the universe shrunk as we look back in time to a point in space that all of a sudden expanded or exploded um, into our space-time reality. Yeah. You, you understand that, right? Yeah. Um, so, however, uh, there's a large assumption that's made because you see, you can't really find where it started. <laughs> you can get really, 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 really close to it. But at one point, it's, some, it's something that's beyond what we can measure. Uh, it's a singularity. It's a point of infinite density. Imagine the whole universe in a point, teeny, teeny <coughs> point that's, smaller than the atom by billions of times, right? It's called a Planck length, uh, you know, a very, very small point. Um, and uh, according to the Big Bang, everything came out of that. But we cannot, you know, write physics on the singularity because there's infinities involved. So, uh, so we can only write physics on this, very, very next billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a billionth of a second after second zero, right? Um, you know, so we don't know that it happened. And part of the experiments that they're building, like the Hydron Collider in Switzerland and so on, is to try to reproduce the conditions that were there very early universe to try to understand it better. Um, the difference between the standard model of the Big Bang, which, you know, is being debated very much right now, uh, and the model I've brought forward um, is that in the model I brought forward, it says that the universe is always Big Banging. It's Big Banging everywhere, meaning that it's, con it's a constant creation universe that that the universe is like bubbles within bubbles within bubbles of larger universe. And all the stuff in one universe is just smaller and smaller and smaller bubbles all the way down to singularity in each one of those universe. And 
the singularity bubbles of the each one of those universes is like the pixel that makes that universe um and you know you could see the pixel you could see our universe as a pixel that makes up a very very large universe much larger than ours for instance you understand that principle yeah uh, so it's more like a fractal universe kind of thing and the universes are not parallel they're embedded within each other right it's like bubbles within bubbles yeah okay so then you can imagine that and this is the paper I, I'm attempting to publish in astrophysics right now there's no mathematical error in it but they're still giving me a hard time um, um in general um the what it it says ultimately is that uh you know imagine a little bubble a really teeny bubble in a in in one size universe like let's say it would be like a proton the nuclear of an atom in our universe right would be the bubble and the the bubble it's coming out of is the bubble of our universe Okay, can you imagine that? Okay, yeah. now you can imagine when it goes from our universe to the larger universe that it's in, right? Yeah. Uh, when it goes from, it would go from one density to a, a different density. The density would drop, right? When it gets in the bigger universe. You get yeah. that? Yeah. So, so that would make that little proton expand that bubble that just got out would expand because it wouldn't have the pressure of the higher density anymore so it could just blow up yeah and so um and so when it blows up like that it could blow up to being another bubble that's the size of the universe that it just escaped. So it just made a universe. Yeah. And the inhabitant of that universe would say, oh, our universe is expanding. And they would look back in time and they would see it shrink like when it was a little bubbled proton, right? And right. It, would, it would think that it was like some kind of ex explosion or Big Bang or, you know, something like that that started their universe but in fact it's just because the little bubble they were in the little bubble ex expanded because it changed density when it went from one size universe to another yeah so that's a new view of the big bang now why is this more feasible well because the math that I'm writing is saying that that comes out to exactly the right values for the critical mass of the universe. That is the mass of the universe, baryonic mass is like the mass of matter plus dark matter plus dark energy. It comes out with the right value without having to add dark matter and dark energy artificially it comes out with the correct value for the mass of our universe. So it's uh, since the dark matter and the dark energy in the Big Bang model is almost 96% the mass of the universe as a fudge factor, um, yeah. my equation and my solution is 96% more accurate than the standard Big Bang model view. So I'm, I'm saying to you, there's a good chance that the, the Big Bang never happened, not in the context of the way it was described in the standard theory, but it, it's more a change of density of fractal bubbles in a fractal universe that made up our universe.